Now we have looked at the plane mirror in a, an earlier class, so that part is clear. But of course, uh, our life would have been very easy if we only had to deal with plane mirrors. But we also have to deal with what are known as spherical mirrors. So what does it mean by spherical or curved mirrors? What does it really mean? It means that such mirrors, so plane mirror is just like this, it's just a straight line and we denote it the, the silver side by drawing hashes um, uh, on one side of the plane mirror. So this is our plane mirror. Uh, it is just, just a plane, okay, it is just flat, it's a flat uh, sheet if you will. In the case of a spherical mirrors, they are pieces of a sphere, okay. So if I take a sphere and I coat one side of the sphere uh, with the silver okay silver compound and then the then i take a piece of that sphere and that piece forms the spherical mirror okay so that is what we are going to study we'll see what are the various properties of the spherical mirrors so here is the spherical mirror there are two cases first of all on in one case i have coated the mirror from the outside in the second case I have coated the mirror from the inside okay so this is the sphere is coated from the inside that is the first thing the next thing is that I have cut this uh, sphere from here and this is what I have made into uh, our curved mirror okay this mirror which has a cave shape okay is it has a cave shape there is a cave inside this is known as concave mirror. The other kind of mirror in which the, the sphere was coated from the inside is known as convex mirror. Okay, So that is the first thing that we need to understand. There are two kinds of spherical mirrors, concave mirror and convex mirror. Concave mirror, it is easy to remember there is a cave. Here there is a cave. This is a cave cavity. Okay, This is a cavity. So it's a cave region. So that's why we can we call it concave mirror okay and in this case the silver was put on the outside of the sphere now there are various properties of these two uh, mirrors uh, both of these kind of mirror the first thing is known as the center of curvature and what is center of curvature the center of curvature is the original center of the original sphere from which this mirror was cut out okay, so both the concave and the convex mirror have their respective center of curvature that is the first thing. The second thing is that there is a line which is going from principal axis and it meets the center of the concave and the convex. Concave and convex mirror, they are cut from the uh, uh, from the whole sphere. So, so from the center of the sphere, if I draw a line to the middle point of the mirror, okay, the cutout portion then this line is known as principal axis okay so both again both kinds of mirror have principal axis so point on the mirror where this principal axis meets is known as pole the distance from the center of curvature to the pole is the radius of curvature it is the original radius of the original sphere from which these mirrors were cut okay so those are the three uh, important important terms that we have explained here center of curvature four actually pole principal axis and radius of curvature now both these kinds of mirror have one more point f which is known as focus okay so this is the focus okay it is also been shown in this diagram you can see it right here this is known as focus and how do we determine this focus so that is the, uh, the case here when the lights come they come from infinity Okay, the light when they come from infinity they seem to merge at a point and they get reflected from our our mirrors the concave and the convex mirrors they seem to merge at a single point they seem to converge okay and that is why the concave mirror is also known as converging mirror they seem to converge at a single point and this is known as focus similarly the when the rays of light they come from infinity they seem to diverge okay because these rays of light which are living will are never going to meet uh, in this lighted space they are not never going to form a real image but they are going to form the virtual image because they will seem to come from a point behind the mirror and that point is known as focus and again uh, they have these foci of both these mirrors have been shown right here okay so this was 
okay that is the another important point so hopefully these terms are very very clear in the case of um, spherical mirrors because only when these terms are clear our next lectures that we are going to do uh, using by doing the ray tracing will become more interesting and you will be able to solve problems thank you